If you look on any of the support groups right now for 3D printing, there's lots of people saying, hey, I've never done this before, but I have one of these, how can I help? I purchased a 3D printer one week ago as a means of trying to help with the medical PPE shortage. Right now I'm printing out a pair of bias tools. These are used by the folks that are sewing masks to go over the N95 masks that our medical professionals are wearing. And I am brand new into 3D printing. I've just ordered my first printer so that I can make mask band and uh, the face shields. A lot of my family and friends are in the medical field and they're working amazingly really long hours. Their ears are getting rubbed raw from the bands they have to wear. Um, I just had to do something. Which I have two printers running around the clock, somewhere around a dozen a day, more than a hundred so far and you know, don't know when this will stop. If you don't mind the sound of whining printers and the smell of slightly melted plastic, it, it's not so bad. This is an example of something that I'm printing. Um, it goes on your head like this and there's a shield that comes down. There's about seven of us doing this. We're giving them to a third person who then sends them to local hospitals, prisons, anyone who needs protective equipment. So hundreds of them have been given out so far. One of the more popular parts that's being printed are these ear protectors and the straps from a mask attach here. Rather than going about around your ears, you use one of these. These are some face straps getting ready to be bundled up and sent out. And I, I kind of keep a tally here on my uh, whiteboard. Not just making toys in the basement, but actually making something that, uh, in theory, maybe even saves some lives. So it's kind of cool.